Hello there. Right, so it's November the 5th, 2013. We have a new Blender website, a new design. Quite good. Uh, but that's enough of that. So let's boot Blender up and we'll hit run. Which I'll just say, uh, yeah, so the preset I'm going to be using is 3ds Max because it's just simple for me to understand. And click in the viewport and I'm just going to move this cube out the way. So when you've got the 3ds Studio Max key set, to get this panel in and out it's the D key yeah and if you want the panel over here in and out that's the F12 key um, but you can also just go up to it where this little plus sign is and drag it out um, and screencast keys let's turn them on you'll find that under if you're looking for screencast keys and you can't find it if you're looking for user preferences and add-ons 3D view screencast keys and hit the little tick box here okay so that's on so which is on now there we go so with that bloop, we are going to add another item so shift a to add an item I'm gonna add a ball and we'll uh, make the segments 12 and 12 and move it over here just want something in the viewport so it can actually see something and then shift a we're going to add a mesh item and we're going to add a cylinder and we'll make that 12 as well okay and we'll put that sort of there right okay so here we go so things we want to do then one let's, uh, let's actually move these things up so they look like they're on the grid not in the grid hello let's try that let's uh, do 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 do. There are easier ways, but I'm a bit stupid, so we'll just do it this way. Bom bom bom. Bear with me. There you go. Right, that's better looking. So, say you're modelling something, and you've got this really cool looking scene. And you go, oh yeah, right. I want my camera just here. Ah, uh, but it's just there. Arr. How do I get my camera to match this view here? Because that's exactly exactly what I want to do. So you can do that sort of thing in most programs, and we'll, I'll be looking at other programs later on. Um, so how do I do that in here? Well, if I select the camera, so left hand mouse button because I've got 3ds Max preset. Remember, right mouse button if you're got using the Blender default. So let's select the camera, or you can select the camera in the outliner over here. So it's, you can select it that way. So if I deselect it, I can select the camera from the outliner here. What I want to do is I want to align this camera to this current view. So under view and then under align view. So um, I want to align the active camera to the selected so the active camera to the view. Right, there we go, that one. Which is shortcut keys is hold down control, alt, and then press the number pad zero. So we're going to go and just use this way, this method at the minute. So it's under the view menu, align view, align active camera to view. Click. My camera is now moved to match my current perspective view, which is Groovy Train. So okay, cool. Right, let's uh, let's navigate. Let's navigate the camera then. So because I've got Studio Max key set up, it should be the Alt and Middle Mouse button to rotate the view. So Alt Middle Mouse. To re oh, okay. So that's not quite what I was what I wanted because. I thought I had, I was in camera view, and uh, yeah, okay. So the camera didn't move then. The camera, we're back in perspective view again. Hmm. Okay. So let me just do that again. So we can do the um, shortcut key this time. So you just hold down the control and the alt and press zero. There we go. So what I want to do, I need to lock this view. Okay. So over in this panel here, we can lock the camera to the current view. So, boing, there we go. Press that little tick box. And uh, when I alt middle mouse and rotate round, now my camera is moving with me. Yeah? And if I use my scroll wheel on my mouse, I can scroll in, dolly in, dolly out. If I hold down my middle mouse, I can pan around, just like in Max. Okay, so the only thing that's like a bit annoying at the moment is I've got this huge viewport here. And I'm looking through this tiny little letterbox, which is probably one sixth the size of the viewport. And if I scroll in and scroll out, it's actually dollying the camera in and out. So, oh, okay. So, how do I make this 
small little viewport here as as big as possible. Oh, by the way, the shape of this is down to however you've got your render set up over here. So currently, render presets, let's go to HT, so 720p, there we go, so it is 720p, so it's 16 by 9 setup we've got here, but it's just a little viewport I'm looking into, isn't it? And, it, and the other thing we've got here, it's, we can still see the rest of the viewport, which you can turn off if you want to, not sure where, forgot now, but it's there somewhere, I'll have a look later. Um, so the thing I want to solve at the moment though is, can I have this, but bigger please? And currently you're thinking, well, no, I don't know how to do it, but it's easy. So once you've got a view-ish, right? So I'm sort of happy with that. If I untick lock camera to view, so that's un unticked. Now when I use my scroll wheel mouse and I scroll backwards and forwards, I actually m I can uh, increase or decrease the size of this camera window I'm looking through. So the next one, I'm just checking here where, where I'm looking at here. So this little cross here. And that little cross is just off screen, yeah. If I go to the next one, bang. Okay, so that's cool. We're well, not cutting anything off. Okay, I like that. Now I can lock that camera to that view, and we're back in again into navigation land. But we've got a really big screen to play with, and that basically is that. So um, middle mouse hold down, panning around. This is in the max uh, preset, by the way. And uh, Alt middle mouse, I rotate around the view. And then scroll wheel forwards and backwards, I dolly the camera in and out. And that is that. Let me just also, while we're doing this, let's go to the top or go somewhere and try and remember what we're doing. Is that going to do for today? Uh, might do for today, I think, actually. Um, let's just have a look. Do, 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 do. I would like to qu toggle quad view, but I can't remember how to do it. I don't think we can, can we? Hmm. That's the only thing I get with this. It's like you're always trying to find stuff. And I can't find where that's gone now. Oh, you know what? We can do it in view here. View. Toggle quad view. Boing. There we go. Right, so I can see here, so in this viewport for instance, when I'm rotating around, you can see the camera. All I wanted to do is show you the camera's actually moving. Yeah, and when I zoom in, the camera is actually moving in. Yeah, and when I'm moving up, it's moving down, left to right. So that's what I wanted to do, that. And there is a toggle quad view somewhere else, I believe, somewhere on here, but I can't remember where it is. But it doesn't matter, because it's also view, uh, toggle quad view. Yeah, bang. And then if you want to go to camera view, just press C, camera view. How cool is that? Easy. And then press C again, and we're back down to wh whichever uh, was your last viewport. So C, camera view. And there you go. That's it, really. Um, yeah, that'll do, won't it? So hopefully that was useful. If it wasn't, you know what? You didn't pay for any money for it. You did lose a few minutes of your entire life just to let you know so you know could have been better couldn't it but hey there you go right uh, let's have a look at another application and doing a similar thing so uh, see you later cheers bye